Hello, people, and welcome to this week's Read Aloud for our article. This week's article is, Is This Burger Bad for the Planet? Cars and factories get most of the blame for polluting Earth. But should you also be paying attention to the food on your plate? <clears throat> Burp. It takes about 300 million cows to produce all the beef humans eat in a year. Wow, that's a huge number. Picture this. A car and a herd of cows stand next to each other on a farm. Let's say the car is a pickup truck. It uses five gallons of gas just driving to the mall and back. It spits out smoke wherever it goes. The cows, on the other hand, are doing what cows do. They stand around in a big green field. They eat grass. They moo. Which does more damage to the planet? the car, or the cows? The answer might surprise you. Earth is warming at a dangerous rate. It's a process called climate change. Cars and factories cause a lot of the problem. But scientists say that other industries, we know that that word here, industries, because it's bolded, you can find the definition in our little box here. So industries, here's our, here's our word means groups of businesses that provide a particular product or service. Okay. That industries also play a big role. And animal agriculture, agriculture meaning the science or job of farming. Agriculture is one of them, a gas problem. How can a cow pollute the environment? It's all about gas. Right now, climate change is happening because we produce gases, mostly by burning fuels like oil and coal. Those gases are called greenhouse gases. They collect in Earth's atmosphere. That's another big word. Atmosphere means the mixture of gases surrounding Earth or another planet and trap the sun's heat close to the planet's surface. This is called the greenhouse effect. It's an important term, so I'm gonna highlight that as well. Cows contribute, and contribute of course means to help or cause something to happen. Cows contribute to the problem in two ways. First, they burp a lot, and that is not a joke. When cows eat grass, their stomachs produce a gas called methane. A typical cow makes about 220 pounds of methane a year. When cows burp, all that gas goes into the atmosphere. It adds to the greenhouse effect. That's not the only way cows add to climate change. It takes a lot of grass to feed a herd of cows. To create grasslands, forests must be cut down. Every year, farmers clear more than 10 million acres worldwide. That's an area bigger than the state of Maryland. The trees in those forests contain a gas called carbon dioxide. When they are cut down, that gas is released into the atmosphere. Cutting back on cows. Cows aren't the only farm animal hurting the planet. Pigs and sheep don't use as much land as cows do, but they still make greenhouse gases. Animal agriculture produces about 15% of the greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. Scientists are working on a solution to the problem. Changing what farm animals eat could make them burp less. But some scientists say that what we really need is fewer cows. Americans eat a lot of beef about 74 million pounds a day. At any given time, there are more than 1 billion cows being raised for food worldwide. That's why activists like 18-year-old Nadia Nazar are urging people to stop eating meat. She's a vegetarian and one of the founders of the climate change, sorry, climate action group Zero Hour. I'm proud that I'm not contributing to the effect that meat has on the climate, she says. 
Let's pause and take a look at this graphic here. It says, what is the greenhouse effect? So, first stage in greenhouse effect. One, the sun warms the earth. Some of that heat is reflected back into earth's atmosphere and the layer of air that surrounds earth. So we start off with the sun warming the earth here. Heat reflected back. Number two, harmful gases are released when we burn fuel, cut down trees, and raise farm animals. So there's all the pollution from that. And then number three, these gases trap heat in the atmosphere, making earth warmer. So because it's trapped in here, that raises the temperature. So that's the greenhouse effect. Now back to what um, Nadia suggested about wanting people to eat less meat. Eating less meat. But you don't have to give up steak in order to help the planet. The World Resources Institute, WRI, is a research group that is working to protect Earth. It just wants us to cut our meat eating in half. For most people, that means six burgers a month instead of 12. <laughs> if you're trying to eat less meat, it may be getting easier. Thousands of schools across the country don't serve meat on Mondays. Some fast food restaurants are adding vegan foods to their menus. It's another one of our vocab words. We can look back and see the true definition of that. Vegan, not having anything that comes from animals, such as meat, eggs, or dairy. So that's like another step above being a vegetarian, right? You're not even eating animal products. So adding vegan food to their menus. At Burger King, you can now order an Impossible Whopper. It's a burger made completely from plants. Does it taste exactly like a juicy hamburger? That's up for debate, but it's probably better for you and the planet. All right, so now that we've finished this, what you're going to do is answer the questions. So I've got your Google Classroom up here. Week two, you're gonna go over to the Scholastic article and you're gonna answer these five questions about what greenhouse gases are, how raising cows can produce greenhouse gases, who Nadia Nazar is, why do people think we should eat less meat? And where is it getting easier to find meals that don't contain meat? So you guys are gonna answer all five of these questions. You're gonna number your responses so that I can easily tell that you've answered all five. And you're gonna put all of your answers in um, this assignment. As usual, if you need any help with this or you have some tech issues, just um, talk to me. Uh, you can make a little comment here or you can contact me um, through Google Classroom or my Google number, which you can find on unused.io. Okay. All right. Well, happy reading.